Hi, this is Stambo and welcome to my tutorial on balancing uh, V949 blades with a laser. Now this is not my idea, I got it from the guys at Flight Test who saw it somewhere else on YouTube. Right, things you'll need. Firstly, a laser pointer. I use my small HD um, video cam, which thankfully for me, has a small built-in laser pointer. Here we go. Piece number one. Number two, a mirror. Cut up CD, DVD, something like that. These are easily cut up with a uh, pair of scissors. Number three, a pair of scissors. Four, some double-sided tape. And some insulation tape. That's all you need to get these blades balanced. The double-sided tape is used to hold on the mirror. And here's one I prepared earlier. Just a small square of CD. Double-sided tape on the back. Now what I do is put the double-sided tape on and then put my thumb on a bit. Get rid of some of the sticky. That way, when you go to pull it off the wee quad, it, ca it comes off the quad rather than the sticky pulling the shiny bit off the back of the CD. Right, next thing. The method. Right, take the canopy off your 949 and unplug all the motors bar the one you're going to balance. Now, be very careful because these are quite fiddly little plugs. The motor plugs, two at the side and the inner ones. As I said, be careful because you don't want to rip those little sockets off the board. So now, we have one motor plugged in, this is the one we're going to balance. Grab our little mirror, stick it to the side. I normally do it on the little housing there. And with that uh, double sided tape that I touch my thumb on and stuff, the mirror comes off nice and easily, it doesn't fall apart, the tape doesn't fall apart. Also, you want to use a double sided tape, it's not permanent. And you don't want it permanent on there. Now aim the laser at the mirror and then orient it all around so that you can see the dot on the wall reasonably close to you probably a metre and a half to two metres is about right okay so we've got that there now we have excuse the mess a dot on the wall, I don't know whether you can see that I'll zoom in on a sec Now we hold down the little quad, carefully, in the position that it won't bite your fingers, and spin it up. And you can see, the laser is leaping around all over the place, so it's definitely out of balance. Now, depending on the size or the distance that the laser is moving, it depends on the size of the piece of tape you're going to put on the motor. Now it's time for the actual balancing. I generally have a few pieces of tape cut of varying sizes and depending on the amount of vibration as to the size of the piece of tape I stick on. Stick it on the leading edge of the prop, just guess the size, round about the middle, uh, guess the side, round about the middle, stick it on. You may want to clean the props. If you've sprayed copious amounts of silicon around like I do, you may want to clean the props beforehand so that the tape will actually stick. Line everything up again. And, okay, we missed. Spin it up again. Hold it down, obviously, and see what happens. Now that's a lot worse, so I've, out of two chances, I've picked the wrong side of the prop. So we peel it off, and stick 
it on the other side. Again, round about the middle on the leading edge of the prop. Line everything up again, get our dot in the right place. And we spin it up again. Look at that. Hardly any movement at all. A little bit right there. But you can hear it sounds so much sweeter. The dot hardly moves. Now, unless I was going to be doing camera work on this, I'd be happy with that. Now, I don't know whether that's the actual prop or something else in the gear train. I might have to spray a bit of silicon. I haven't lubed this one yet. But you hear that? It's so much sweeter. And the dot stays... Oh, that's me moving it around. Uh, I've lost the dot. Okay, now you pretty much get the idea. If you want to fine tune it a bit more, you can always move the tape in or out on the prop. Once you get it to the position where it gives you the least amount of movement on that laser, you can then experiment by going up and down in tape size. Uh, eventually you'll find the sweet spot and the right amount of tape, and your 949 will be so much smoother. Obviously, as I said, if you're going to be using a camera on this little quad, you really want to get it as close as you can. But just for normal flight, that is just about good enough for me. I've done the other ones, so uh, there's no need to go any further. Now we just plug everything in again, and uh, happy flying. Well that's it, we should now have a quad that flies smooth and sweet, so uh, if this helped you at all, please like, share, subscribe, and uh, thanks for watching.